the demographically, the baby boomer generation, which is the biggest cohort, population cohort in our demographics, is going to retire. And there's a big bunch of poor people who are about to retire. And a lot of these poor people, for example, in my generation, I'm a baby boomer, I'm 62. My colleagues in primary six, only half of them passed PSLE. Only half of them went out to secondary school, the rest went back to the workforce, right? So a lot of them are very poorly educated to start out with and therefore have been earning unskilled wages for the whole of their careers. They never went to secondary school. These are the baby boomers. Of course now it's better, but this bunch still didn't have education. Secondly, for most of their working lives, at least half, they were in a middle-income country. At that time, Singapore was still developing. So they earned middle-income wages for half of their careers. And in the second half of their careers, they ran into this, into this depressed wages scenario that we created out of policy error. And so they are retiring in the most expensive, one of the most expensive first world cities in the world. How to retire if you've been working all your life in a middle-income country and had your wages depressed. And these are people that built modern Singapore with their hands and their blood and their sweat and their tears. If we cannot find it in ourselves to see that it's a great social injustice, that these people should retire in poverty, absolute poverty, there's something deeply wrong with the society. 